In this video I'm going to show you how to upload and download multiple resources to your resources area. So here we are in resources and at the top we're going to click on upload download multiple resources in the toolbar. Um, and what this does is give you uh, two things. Uh, one is this URL which will be useful for you no matter what um, system you might have. And another one is uh, it also gives you a description of how to set up uh, what's called WebDAV in different operating systems. So WebDAV is a way that you can set up, it's really great actually, that you can have uh, basically uh, one window open on your computer that represents your computer and one uh, window that represents Sakai and you can just drag and drop things between them really easily. So for upload or download lots of things um, without having to do one by one through the interface. If your computer that you want to use for uploading and downloading multiple resources is um, Windows XP, um, then you would just follow the directions here for XP. Um, for Vista and Windows 7, do that. For Mac, you're probably going to be using 10.4, 10.5. Um, and in any case, what you want to do is copy this line right here. And you can either hit right click and hit copy, or you can just hit Control C. Because um, you're going to use this as the address for whatever thing you're trying to get into. Um, so the easiest of this is probably on the Mac, or I'll click down here, um, where basically you go to the Finder menu, click Go, select Connect to Server, and then you copy, uh, copy in that address there, and um, hit the Connect button at the bottom, and you're good to go. And then what will open up is a window that you can use um, that will represent Sakai. It will ask you for your username or password, which is of course your um, Onion username and password. And if it asks you to remember your password, just say no. Because um, your the Onion password does change, so sometimes if you remember it's not good. Okay, now if you have Windows XP, it's a similar process. Click that. Um, you just have to go follow these directions, go to Network Places, Add a Network Place, and click through a little wizard that takes you through. And when it asks you to paste it in, just um, paste in the address, give it a name, and then you're good to go. You'll have a little window pop open for you. If you have Windows Vista or Windows 7, this is the way you would do it. You would connect uh, by grabbing this URL, as the other ones would, and I'm going to minimize my browser here. Then I'm going to open up computer, my computer, um, and at the top it has Map Network Drive. So click that and just asking for a folder, you just paste in that uh, address that you just got and then hit finish. It'll ask you for your username and password, so I'll type those in. And I'm, gonna, I'm not going to have it remember my credentials because this uh, password changes every 90 days. There we go. And so what we see here is a connection in a window. Um, we can drag and drop things from the desktop if we wanted to. Um, so for instance, you can see that we have schedule materials, site information, ongoing to-dos, and skeleton. And if we go back into the browser, into the resources area, you can hit site resources again, and you can see that's just what we have here. Um, so now if I want to just drag and drop something, I can do that. So I have my Sakai calendar upcoming events on my, doc top, my desktop, and I can drag that right here. You see that it copies it, and then when we go back into Sakai again and refresh. You'll see that ongoing to do's and uh, Sakai calendar will pop right up again. So that's a really easy way of dragging and dropping things um, from Sakai to your computer, or if you want, from your computer back to Sakai. It has a handy little window, and that's a really um, time saving way of getting things in and out of your resources area.